Realty Income Corporation, the monthly dividend company, is the asset I'm going to analyze today using my weird Japanese investing system. My name is Kiana Danielle. I'm the founder of the Invest Diva movement, where our mission is to help 1,000 moms start investing in the online financial assets the right way and make their money work for them. If you're new here and wondering who the heck I am, I'm an adjunct professor of investment management at universities in New York and in Japan. You may have heard of me or seen me on media like like Fox Business, CNN, Forbes, and NASDAQ, and I've written three books on trading and investing topics. This is my new YouTube channel, so I'd really appreciate your support by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video with any mom in your life who can benefit from this analysis to see if this monthly dividend stock is right for their investment portfolio. Now, if you're just getting started with investing, make sure to check out the link in the description area to discover how I make over $12,000 per month using my weird Japanese investing system. Now let's go take a look at the Realty Income Corporation and analyze it from the five points of the Investiva Diamond Analysis using the Ichimoku technique. Income Corporation, the monthly dividend company, is an S&P 500 company dedicated to providing stockholders with dependable monthly income. Its symbol on the market is O. The company is structured as a right, and its monthly dividends are supported by the cash flow from over 5,900 real estate properties owned under long-term lease agreements with commercial tenants. Now let's analyze this stock from five points of the Investiva Diamond Analysis, or the IDDA. I use this method to analyze almost any online charted assets from stocks to cryptocurrency to forex. And we start with fundamentals, market sentiment, and then move to risk, which is capital, technical analysis, to get a holistic view of the stock and see if it's right for our portfolio and our unique risk tolerance and unique financial goals. Fundamentals first. The company has a market cap of $24 billion. Its earnings per share is $1.27. And its forward dividend in yield is actually pretty high. It's 3.71%, which is $2.73 per share. Realty Income owns roughly 5,000 properties. Most of them are freestanding, single tenant, triple net lease retail properties. And its properties are located in 49 states and Puerto Rico and are leased to 250 tenants from 47 industries. Recent acquisitions have added industrial, office, manufacturing, and distribution properties, which make up roughly 18% of its revenue. Now, what is the opportunity with Realty Income Corporation? Realty Income is the largest triple net right in the U.S. with more than 5,000 properties that mainly house retail tenants. The company describes itself as the monthly dividend company, and its line of business and operating metrics make its dividend one of the most stable sources of income for investors. Now, even though over 80% of Realty Income's tenants are in retail, most of them are focused on defensive segments with characteristics like being service oriented, naturally protected against e-commerce pressures, and resistant to economic downturns. Realty income is still on track to close on the acquisition of 454 single tenant retail properties uh, for $1.25 billion at a 7% cash cap rate. Now let's take a look at the risks involved with investing in this stock. Now, despite the defensive nature of most of realty income's tenants, they are still subject to change in consumer tastes and economic situations. Realty income has been increasing the average quality of its tenants, but about half are not investment grade. The company has also reduced the overall concentration in its tenants over time, but more than half of its net operating income is still concentrated in the top 20 tenants, and seven uh, tenants re represent more than 3% of its NOI. So issues at any of these top tenants might negatively affect realty income's revenue. 
Another thing is that realty incomes properties are generic shells that can attract a wide number of possible tenants, but there is nothing unique about the properties that can't be recreated by other developers. That means competition can become tough. And additional competition from better capitalized investors could actually drive up prices and force realty income to either pursue fewer acquisitions uh, or acquire at lower cap rates or reduce the quality of properties that it acquires, right? So on the other hand, realty income depends on regular debt and equity issuances to fund acquisitions. So if the stock price of uh, realty income oh, uh, drops, or if the interest rates increase, uh, that will raise the cost to acquire, which reduces the spread between the company's weighted average cost of capital and the acquisition cap rate. So that these could be problematic in the long run. The next point of the IDDA is market sentiment. Now, while back in 2019, a bunch of companies like Citigroup and Jefferies upgraded their position for realty income to buy, and Morgan Stanley back in September maintained its equal weight, uh, most recent quarterly results for realty income were actually slightly below the analyst expectations. So right now, Morningstar actually gives the stock a two-star rating, which is kind of bearish. Now, the Invest Divas Diamond Analysis research shows that the majority of the trading crowd is normally wrong with the prediction of where the price will be going next. So one thing that you can do to stay ahead of them is to actually go against the crowd. But now the next question is, okay, now we know that realty income is actually made, now that everybody's bearish and the stock prices are dry, dropping, it may be an opportunity to buy. But when should we pull the trigger and buy? This brings us to the final point of the Investiva Diamond Analysis, which is technical analysis. And I use my weird Japanese indicator, Ichimoku, for the most of it, and other main technical analysis techniques for the rest of it. With that, let's take a look at the charts of Realty Income Corporation with stock symbol O. This has been on the market since 1995. And as you can see on the monthly chart, the, price, the stock actually has been a growth stock overall, which is great. It did have a dip back in 2008 when the markets crashed, but it was it recovered actually within a year, which is pretty fast for this market. It did have some other stumbles along the way back in 2013, and then a little bit more in 2016, it dropped massively, but it was able to recover again in 2019. And that is basically when all the corporations that I just mentioned were upgrading their position. And that led to being overbought. And now we are seeing the stock price dropping for the past three months. Now, zooming in and looking at the daily chart, you will see that the, uh, the price has actually broken below the daily Ichimoku cloud. This is the Ichimoku cloud right over here. Right, and the future cloud is actually bearish. Uh, the other moving averages from Ichimoku, the Tenkan, Kijun, and the Chico Span, all of them are moving downward, uh, signaling further drops in the price for O, oh, realty income. Now, uh, the next step that you want to take, now that we know that the market was overbought and is now in a process of correcting or a pullback, uh, we can use Fibonacci retracement level. I'm going to do it again so they can see exactly how I do it. I basically identified the most recent uptrend, which is uh, which started back in February 2018 and ended back in November. And then the Fibonacci retracement levels magically appear. We can see that uh, the pivot level or the 23% Fibonacci retracement level is at $73. And the next level, which actually falls exactly on the support level from back in July and June, and this actually was a massive support level for a very long time, is at $68. So it is very likely that in this uh, correction or market pullback, uh, the price is going to drop to at least $68.70. Now, when every time that Realty Income Corporation has had a drop back, let's see what has happened. Uh, because, I mean, history does not repeat itself exactly, but I just want to know uh, what happened the last time. The last time the stock had a um, pullback, the stock price actually dropped 
to just above 50% of Nash Yu smell level. So with that, we could expect, uh, this is a 50% in this run, we could expect the price actually to drop as low as 64.73, 70. Now for those of you who wanna uh, buy even lower and can afford to, uh, to take the risk of waiting on the stock price to actually drop there, you can also have a buy limit order at 60.54. But remember that the only reason why we're actually investing in realty income is for its monthly dividend payments. So the sooner you get in it, the sooner you're gonna start accumulating the dividend payments. So when you put all of this in consideration, you might wanna start buying a little bit right now and then have buy limit orders at lower prices and that is exactly what I did for my dad's portfolio this concludes my analysis for realty income corporation with the stock symbol O. I personally have invested in the stock as of today and I bought some of the stock for my dad as well uh, if you are a premium investing group member or a pig member you know that I manage my dad's portfolio as well as my family's portfolio and he is over 80 years old he's retired and he really depends on dividend income for his lifestyle and he does, doesn't want to take that much risk. So for him, I actually bought a little bit more at the current market price because he has a larger lump sum of money. For myself, I set buy limit orders at lower prices that I just showed you based on my Ichimoku and Fibonacci technical analysis. Now, let me know what you think of Reality Income Corporation. Do you think this is the right investment for your portfolio? Do you have a high risk tolerance, medium risk tolerance, or low risk tolerance? What do you think of dividend payment stocks in general? And would you rather invest in more riskier assets in 2020 or just stick with dividend payments? Go ahead in the comment section and let me know. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. This is my new YouTube channel. So I would really, really, really appreciate you subscribing, liking, and sharing this video with your friends and family and any woman who you think would benefit from starting and investing in the online financial markets. Once you subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure to turn on that bell notification button so that you know exactly when I publish my next video. In the meantime, don't forget to make your money work for you.